tutorial starts with a song, but it's only a few seconds long. Computer animation. Computer animation. Computer animation. Let's get started with animation. This is a basic thing about attributes and parameters of objects. On the right hand side you have an empty window currently, empty. When you press Ctrl A you get the attribute editor. When you press Ctrl A again you get the window you had before. Now let's select the cube here and uh, in the so-called channel box, because of the channels here, it's called channel box, you see basic attributes of the cube. When you press uh, Ctrl A you see the attributes as well, here, there and all over the place. And uh, you can of course now control the width etc. Uh, this is where you change behaviors and set keyframes etc. So why do we need these two kind of windows? Well, there are several reasons for it. The channel box is much leaner. It's so small and uh, tiny so and you can uh, change things very effectively. However, there's one advantage uh, the channel box has over the attribute editor, which is you can select multiple objects and change the parameters of these. I give you an example. Uh, we pick the cube, we pick the cone. Actually we use the, the mouse here to select these two fields for rotation X and Y. And without doing anything else we just type in a value. Let's type in 60 for 60 degrees. When we press enter now both objects we selected will change their rotation X and Y by 60 degrees. Let's change the rotation uh, for these three objects in Z. Let's change the rotation by say 155. Let's scale these two up in Y. Instead of 1 we type in 2. So they're higher now. The translation, let's see, let's translate them all together in all axes by 2.5 units. So they're up there a little bit forward and a little bit to the right. And uh, in the attribute editor, control A, you can only regulate singular objects. In this case the cube is selected because it was f selected first I guess and uh, you can change now the translation to 5 for example but the others will stay where they are. So use the channel box when you want to change attributes for more objects and have a nice day. Bye bye.